right? Yeah. Yeah. Reroll Orson Swindle, take three. So Orson, tell me a little bit about this. Uh, Let me uh, get over here so that people can see it here. Tell me a little bit. About Have we got this, the picture? Yeah, I'll just hold it up there okay. while you're talking. Uh, nicest man in the world, President Reagan. I, uh, when I got out of the Marine Corps in uh, uh, 1979, uh, President Carter was in office, and he was from, my hometown's only about 50 miles away from his town, and, and I was, it, it would have been nice for me to be really proud that a Georgian was president, but he was such a disappointment as president, I, you know, and, and, and in the course of the reunions that we had after we came home, we met President Reagan, or Governor Reagan then, and Nancy, and, uh, you know, he didn't know me from Adam's house cat, but uh, we were always around him, and he's just, just an incredibly personal individual. And uh, after he was elected, and I campaigned for him, and I was the district chairman and all that in, in Georgia, which it, at the, in those days we had, uh, I think, 11, no, 10 congressmen, and one of them was a Republican, Newt Gingrich. And we never had a Republican governor in modern times, I think. And uh, so I had no chance of winning Georgia against Jimmy Carter, but we put up a good fight. And I was a featured speaker at the last rally we did before the election. It was done on the doorsteps of Plains High School, which is where, <laughs> where, the, pre where the governor was from, or the president was from at that time. And uh, after the election, we are elated. Uh, Reagan's been elected and things are looking good. And uh, okay, that's it, that was fun. The next thing I know, I get, started getting phone calls. Said the, state, the chairman of the Reagan effort in Georgia, who I became very close friends to, said, we want you to serve in the administration. I said, serve what? He said, well, don't you know about patronage? You know, that's a term for people who work in the campaigns. You pay them off for giving them a job or something. That's a crude way to say it, but that's basically what it amounts to. And I said, I don't. I got no ambitions to do anything like that. I just retired from the Marine Corps. I got to find a life now. I said, "Well, let us put your name in." And so the next thing I know, I'm I have first appointment with a state director of the Farmers Home Administration, which is a part of the Department of Agriculture, U.S. Department of Agriculture, and Georgia had a total disaster on its hand. They uh, uh, something like billions of dollars in farm loans are in delinquency, bankrupt, and the farmers are clamoring for more loans, and the Reagan people, and Terman Talmadge and Sam Nunn and Jimmy Carter would just turn the faucet on and throwing money out of it, and Reagan said, we're stopping this, this is not doing anybody any good, and so I was asked to come and preside over that, and you can imagine it was, it was a bit terse. In my home county, the year before I took the job, the Farmers Home Administration, which made loans primarily to people who couldn't get their credit from anywhere else, made 300 loans to 320 farmers. The last year I was in office made loans to 30 people. It just a total disaster. But anyway, I do a reasonably good job there, I guess, and they asked me to come up the Assistant Secretary of Commerce, one of 25 at the Department of Commerce, whatever it was. And, uh, and then when I left, I got this nice picture. I think there was one I left. That just doesn't have a date on it. But uh, I got to meet President Reagan on a number of occasions, and uh, Nancy, wonderful lady. And they just were truly special people. You know, I don't know, I always tell people, we said, what was it like? I said, well, you know, when he was giving a speech, you thought he was talking to you. He just had that personal contact and relationship. and. Uh, it was a fun experience, it was painful many times, especially deep, dealing with the farmers because I had so many of them that were friends of mine and not anything you do. You can't, you can't get out of this, it's gone. You know, you just, rather than us give you more money to throw it down the drain, drain hole, they just had to stop. So it was painful, I was controversial because of the job I had to do, but you do the honorable thing, you do what you're supposed to do. Hey, Barry. There you go. You did it. You, I just had to grab your question there for a second. You let me know when you're good, Bill. I'm good. Okay. Well, Scott. Perfect. Yeah. I think he 